start of my paranormal vlog but today's not so paranormal really um, today I'm off finally hang on just one second let's let these people through after a long time of waiting and a lot of you that know me will know I've been waiting for my knee operation I've got arthritis in my knee I've had pre-ops where when you have a pre-op they have to operate within eight weeks and due to the current pandemic situation that we're in my operation got cancelled so I've basically heard nothing all year after phoning the hospital up and having work called call, bit of a garden just a little bit um, I received a phone call the following day that right now yeah coming next week for your pre-op with the looking forward to having the operation on the 4th of November so basically the operation I'm not having a knee replacement I'm having a knee flush which is where they scrape out and they flush out all the bits of bone and cartilage and rubbish that's accumulated in my knee um, as a lot of you know over the past probably two going on three years this has actually stopped me doing much in the paranormal I've not been able to walk far um, I've not been able to do much really it's the pain after walking's excruciating sometimes it just pops and that's it I'm done a few years ago again people that have known me a while know that I had an operation on my ankle I had Rip, basically rip the tendons to shreds in my ankle kicking a punch bag the clever um, and I had an operation on that to stitch all that back together uh, so I struggled along with that managed to get that back working fine uh, managed to do quite a lot of stuff I mean, as a lot of you know you've been to a place in Nottingham called the Galleries of Justice it's in massive place five levels by the time you've spent 12 hours investigating there you know about it your legs hurt so obviously with my ankle I struggled along with that but I did it I did it just suffered for a couple of days and then my knees just totally put me out of the game so here we are today um, I just thought I'd use this as like an introduction really to the vlog um, obviously as time goes on the vlog is going to be more paranormal type stuff we're going to be going hopefully all being well all over the country um, at the moment we're very restricted as all of us are everybody in the paranormal community we're very restricted as to what we can actually do due to the pandemic situation I feel sorry, you know, really I feel sorry for the people who run the event companies. Uh, it's an up and down year for them. They had to cancel, obviously, all, a lot of events due to the lockdown that happened. Then we come out of lockdown, they rebook places, they get these events back on, and then they're having to cancel again now because of restrictions on the amount of people. So it's the customers of these paranormal companies that suffer as well as the, par the owners of the paranormal companies having to put a huge amount of work in just to keep customers happy and keep the heads above water so yeah it's not easy times venues again venues are suffering I know there's the argument of venues charge way too much money etc etc which we'll talk about probably in a future vlog we'll, we'll get round to all the venue kind of, but I'm not doing that now but a lot of venues who rely on that income they're struggling they're having to find other ways of bringing some money in as many of you know I manage the ghost hunts and haunted nights at Codner Farmhouse and Castle that got cancelled due to the lockdown and etc covid we had to cancel a lot of dates there and then we 
were looking at restarting up, we were allowed back in, so we rebooked some dates. And then I'm not I'm not into slagging thing, I'm not naming names, but a certain group who do a lot of lives on YouTube and Facebook decided that they'd go there and do their thing. Uh, the police subsequently the police got called, um, complaints were put in from a neighbour of the site and now fortunately all paranormal events and activity anything to do with ghost hunting basically the paranormal has been cancelled by the landowner um, the building and the, the site as general has been up for sale for a while now um, the sale seems to be going through it's been gone through before then backed out cancelled etc but it seems now that the sale might be going through um, so until the new owner takes control of the site and things are discussed with the new owner then unfortunately there's going to be no more paranormal events at Codna so fingers crossed we're hoping that the new owner is sympathetic to it realises the significance of the site and we'll carry on we'll just have to wait and see but anyway yeah we're going to be traveling quite a few sites there's a lot of local sites free sites that i'll take you to we'll do a walk around just general show you around these haunted sites uh, i'm also working on i've got quite quite a few good contacts throughout the paranormal so i will be bringing you i won't call them interviews i don't like the term interviews it's more chats i prefer the term chat will be having chats with a lot of people um, bring you different people's insights into the paranormal world some of them will probably be tv personalities that i know um, but general i don't want to go into the stars in their eyes sort of thing I'm, i want to bring you interviews with people that are doing genuinely good research and work in the paranormal community there's a lot of people out there that don't get the recognition that they deserve for the work that they put in there's also a lot of people that behind the scenes they put in work they do the research they they keep themselves to themselves they're not interested in the fame and fortune side of paranormal which a lot of people don't seem to realize doesn't actually exist as i say i'm not saying this to up myself and say look at my name <laughs> no not doing that but a lot of the people that i do know that are in television in the paranormal work full-time jobs the paranormal is just something that they do it, they've been on tv why um no idea i don't know just here just pulling out of me but um yes then the americans are the ones that make the money from working in the paranormal us brits have to carry on working full-time jobs the majority of us anyway um, so i don't understand why everybody wants this tv fame everybody wants to be the next big paranormal star because unless you hit that one in a million chance you ain't gonna make a living in the paranormal by being on tv i've spoken to people who've told me how much companies like really tv and pick tv etc actually pay for you to put an episode on and it's not a great deal if you've got a team if you've even a team of five of you you ain't gonna be earning a living let's put it that way just by getting your program on really or pig tv or whichever tra channel you go on um, you need money to back you up you need to pitch your program to these people and let's let's be honest let's be honest here 
as paranormal, serious paranormal investigators, we know that a lot of the stuff that's on these programs is to keep viewers watching. Let's put it that way. It's to keep keep their viewers watching them. Um, I, for one, and I know a, I know a lot of other people are the same. I, for one, wouldn't do something just to keep viewers watching. I'm trying not to say certain words here because I don't want to put any implications there. But I would the certain things I and I know a lot of other investigators wouldn't do just to keep a TV series. But everybody's different. Train of thoughts have gone all over the place here. This is my first vlog. I'm just talking as I'm driving to hospital. So yeah, TV comes with certain things that you have to do so there we go if you want to do it you do it you go for it um, but tv's not my thing this vlogging could be if it picks up this this will be my thing we'll vlog so yeah we're talking to a lot of people i will be doing informal chats not interviews i don't want to sit there just reeling off some questions some of them will probably be Facebook Lives that I'll do um, and then we'll incorporate them into one of the vlogs. Some of them will be, I'll be meeting up with people at places, take the cameras and basically just record us having a chat and a laugh. That's something that a lot of people miss with the paranormal, it's a laugh. Yes, it's it's got its serious side, we're dealing with deceased people. Um, we're dealing with people's relatives. Um, generally, it has to be taken seriously what we're doing. There's nothing worse than disrespecting anybody. Nothing worse than disrespecting the paranormal. But, I mean, we can touch here on provocation. A lot of people provoke. I personally, I have provoked but to a point. I won't provoke to insult i won't provoke to the point of in real life i see the same sort of thing you can push things to a certain level going over that level overstepping that mark becoming insulting or is just too much i, I personally don't like to see it in the power of that's me i'll provoke but I'll, i know my level i know where to stop but the way i see if you provoke some people will be Wah! rarely go for it if you want to do that you're that's your bag go for it but be prepared for what you get back this is what i always tell people anything in the paranormal be prepared to get back what you give you provoke you attack you be violent you be insulting be prepared for the repercussions makes sense so yeah, uh, that's my thing I'm provoking. I know, I know we jump, 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 we're all over the shop here, because obviously this is my first time. I'm just blabbering away while I'm driving to the hospital. So yeah, I mean, this this vlogging business, it'll be fun, we'll have a laugh. That was where I was, wasn't I? Yeah, I've, see, off I went. I've just remembered we're all about having a laugh, yeah. The paranormal, take it seriously, it's a serious business. You're dealing with people's relatives, etc, etc. Be careful with your provocation if you go there. But don't forget, it's fun. Enjoy what you do. If you don't enjoy it, why do it? It's not worth going out, spending a fortune on a hobby, which is what most of us start off as, it's a hobby. Um, we buy all the cameras and all the flashy BPs crap basically the, yeah that's, that's, another, that's another vlog I won't go into that but anyway we spend a lot of money on all this equipment why you then take it all too seriously I've seen people who bloody hell if, if they smiled the fucking faces would crack and fall off sorry for the language but come on enjoy our hobby enjoy it it's fun 
Anybody that knows my team, Past Hauntings, knows we will have a laugh. We will play jokes on each other. We will play jokes on other people. We will generally make a night good fun. Our whole aim is good fun. As a team, we've been doing what we call our team nights for a lot of years now. Let's put it that way. A lot of years. Um, what we did, the idea originally came when we first got started doing this seriously. We got in touch with the Galleries of Justice at Nottingham, which is now the Justice Museum. We thought, oh, well, we'll hire that out. We'll go there and do our thing. But there's a team, we're in our team, it's all family and close friends. Um, so we thought, oh, we'll go there, we'll hire that out. Nearly a thousand pounds. Yeah, nearly a thousand pounds. We thought, well, yeah, we can't afford that shit. That's a good idea. Why don't we hire it and spread the cost between us and other teams? Because we we couldn't afford a thousand pounds to rent it. Who can? And we know other teams that would love to investigate these places can't afford a thousand pounds. So we booked a date. We put it out there. Anybody want to do a team share? And you can get 40 people easily without treading on anybody's toes in the Galleries Justice because the place is massive. So we hired it out, we sold all the tickets and everybody had an absolute blast. They got to investigate one of what's reputedly the country's most haunted buildings. Um, they got to do it at a good price. They got to meet other people, other teams, we built friendships that are still going now. I mean, you're talking, this was over 10 years ago. Um, and we're still very good friends with some of the people now. Some we've made friends with over the years on these events that we've, we've been close to, we've got, and then you just drift apart. Things happen, etc, etc. But anyway, yeah, these team nights, we thought it's bringing people together it's getting people a chance to investigate places at a good price affordable we don't make no profit as a team past hauntings when we do our team nights we don't make a profit all we do is cover the costs galleries of justice I tell you it's 975 pound to hire and then we round it up to a thousand and that basically covers our insurance we put on tea and coffee, biscuits, we, we, we do bring a nice spread for people to keep them going all night. And it covers the cost of that, we don't make a penny. Sometimes we've lost, but that's it, we, that's why we do it. These things will be happening again, hopefully in 2021. Yeah, 2021, see I don't even know what year it is, we've lost the year. These things will be happening again in 2021, these team nights, we're gonna re restart them again and There'll be some of these vlogs done from there. I'll be walking around on break times and while we're all chatting, filming, talking to people, showing you around these places. So anyway, I'm waffling on like a lunatic here. Sat in traffic, I've got, where are you? I've got 18 minutes to get to hospital, which I should be able to do. So yeah, I, I won't be doing much sort of between now and Christmas as in going out anywhere uh, I might do a few if anybody knows on our Past Hauntings Facebook page we've been out a couple of times over the last few days just to venues taking photographs that's all we're doing not I can't call it investigating uh, we are roadworks um, I can't call it investigating because we're not all I'm doing we're getting up turning up taking anywhere up to a hundred photos getting home sticking them up on our Facebook page to show people these venues really show people these places they're only cemeteries and free place where you just turn up and take some pictures it keeps people interactive on our page people are spotting things in these pictures which is fantastic uh, one of the members on our past audience page actually spotted something on one of the photos I put up so I put another photo up that was similar we thought it was like a, on the photo it looks like a 
a misty figure of an angel coming over a gravestone or sitting on a gravestone. Put the picture up and the guy called Kev, who was chatting with over Facebook, spotted a face. Now this face in this picture blew us away. We'd never seen it. We, we were more fixated on the full image of what would look like a, an angel or something coming out on this gravestone. But when you see this face, it's almost photographic. It's unbelievable. I'll stick it on, on this vlog. I'll put in a full picture and a zoomed in picture right about now. See what I mean? Did you see it that? Well, we blew us away. It's like, what? Why didn't we see this before? So this is another thing, another, sorry, I'm getting excited here. But this is another thing with the paranormal. When you take your photos, you do your filming, your footage, etc, etc, revisit. Look at everything with a fresh set of eyes. Don't just take everything at your face value, what you first see you've caught, or your first bit of evidence that you think you've got. Yeah, put it out, do it, do what you want with it. Give it a few weeks or a few months look at it with a fresh set of eyes even try and get somebody else to look at it see what they see because this face was like wow and we took this picture years and years and years ago um, and we, i've shared it many times on different things never seen this face this face is unreal so anyway there you go Let's, hope you saw what we saw when i popped it up um, I'm nearly there now, I'm nearly at hospital, so uh, I think that's probably it for this one. Uh, yeah, I think the next one we'll do might be going out somewhere. But anyway, I hope you enjoy my vlog, my yak into the camera, my blah blah blah. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll do all sorts, like I said, we'll, also, we'll be going places, we'll be talking to people, I'll be doing one on ones, I'll be talking about different ways. That I've personally found to use equipment, different ways to investigate, why I investigate like I do, etc. etc. So, there we are, we'll see how we go. And yeah, anyway, for now, bye bye.